Hi, so I'm Mark Barrow and it's hard to believe I've still only been your Vice President for Education for about two months, so it's already feeling like I've been here for ages really. So it will be easy for me to say that I've spent the first few weeks in this job just settling in and maybe getting to know people. That of course is true, but I've been doing a lot more things besides that in my attempt to enhance your student experience during the next academic year. So firstly, I've now been to three student union conferences. So the purpose of these conferences is for sabbatical officers from across the United Kingdom to come together in a big group and to you know, discuss ideas and attend training sessions to help prepare us for the year ahead. So the training sessions are very beneficial. They provide us with skills that we will use during our time in office. But to be honest, I did find the most beneficial part of them conferences was the networking with other sabbatical officers from different student unions you know, listening to their experiences and their ideas is um, quite inspirational really and it's given me ideas of what I can work on in the year ahead. So back in the office I've made progress in regards to my priorities for the next year which are in line with the manifesto that I produced. So, so far I've dedicated lots of my time to my sexual harassment prevention campaign which will start on the 26th of November. So I'm pleased to say this campaign is coming together really well. So the campaign will be launched through a campaign video, which I've now secured funding for. And the video will consist of several students and staff members outlining just what sexual harassment is and where victims can seek professional help within the university. Following the release of the video, the campaign will be very visible across Bangor. So I'm in the process now of planning and setting up our Reclaim the Night campaign. So this is a national campaign which is to do with women feeling safe when they walk in the streets. And um, you know, that is a message that uh, will be given out during that um, event. Um, the campaign will see parts of the university's sexual violence policy written on a huge like whiteboard, um, which we're going to take to different buildings across the university. And underneath that sexual violence policy, we'll be asking students to add their name and signature, which will give off that you know, message of unity against sexual harassment. So do keep an eye out for updates on this campaign, and um, you, know, you are more than welcome to be involved in it um, in several different ways. So I've also been working on two different housing campaigns, which also align with what I put together in my uh, manifesto. So firstly, I've been working in partnership with Mark's House of Tenancy. So this is a house reviewing platform and it allows you to complete a review for a property based on the landlord, the neighbourhood, the standard of the house and the letting agent. So, um, you know, I've already arranged for the marketing material to be released for this. Um, an old student email went out yesterday and it is coming together really well. So I'm hoping that students will uh, find this service really useful going forward. So besides that, I've also been planning a Don't Panic campaign, which is going to be held between the 13th and 15th of November. So the purpose of this campaign really is to provide students with detailed information about the accommodation in Bangor and to reassure you really that there is no need to panic into signing up to a contract, you know, there is plenty of accommodation available for you, so it's just to um, give you that message that there is no panic, you have got time to uh, have a look round and to sign up to a very good quality uh, property. So one of my other pledges is to work on a campaign to reduce our plastic consumption. So I've been working closely with the university's catering team so that us, us as a student union can promote their reusable coffee mugs. So 2.5 billion coffee cups are thrown away each year in Britain. And um, you know, by investing in one of these reusable mugs, you are doing something practical to help the environment. And it also means you get a 10 pence discount on any hot drinks. Um, that you buy from the university's food outlets. There are many exciting ways you can be involved in the plastic reduction campaign. We've already arranged a beach clean volunteering project for the 29th of September, which any student can come along to. And you can even get involved in our top tip videos. So if you have got you know, a top tip of how other students can reduce their plastic consumption, then please get in touch and it's one that we can add to our list on the uh, website. 
So, you know, that's my progress up to yet in a nutshell, really. As I said earlier, any of these campaigns are open to you as students. We want you to be involved, so please do, you know, have a look on the website, come and speak to us, and, um, you know, just ask how, in whatever way, you would um, like to be involved. If you want to contact me personally, I do have an open door policy, so just come into the SU, come down and see me. You know, I would appreciate a chat now and again in the uh, in a break to send in emails. So otherwise, you can have me on Facebook or you can indeed send an email. So thank you for listening and um, I hope you're enjoying the rest of your summer. I look forward to seeing you in September. Thank you.